See, in my last days, I decided to hide my treasure and let it bless somebody instead of letting it go to waste. All you have to do is follow the given directions and it will lead you there. Hint, hint. You'll need a paper, pencil, compass, and a mathematician. Ooh, it's like one of the movies! I mean, I'm always down for the adventure. What about education, Chloe? It's dangerous, but who cares? I'm bored anyways. Right. Wait, what are the directions? Yeah. Starting at the location of this note, go three miles west, then two miles north, then three miles west, then eight miles south, then two miles west. Your treasure awaits you at the X. Okay, y'all ready? Let's write and gather materials. I'll get pencils. I'll find a compass and I'll be the math grade. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's one more thing we have to do before we can begin. Pirate costume. Yeah. Yeah. having my treasure are the best mathematicians as I was one myself. With that being said, the only way you can get inside my chest is if you solve the following math problem. Once you have the answer, scream it out loud and my spirit will be awakened and open the chest for you. If you travel three miles west, then two miles north, then three miles west, then eight miles south, then two miles west, and went in a straight line back to the location of the first scroll, how many miles did you travel? Okay, but... We can solve this problem. Yeah. I mean, I'll give it a go. We have 18 miles to get here. To solve this problem, we need to find our missing value. The number of miles it takes to travel back in a straight line. You have to draw a triangle solving for the hypotenuse or the diagonal line representing our missing value. To solve for the hypotenuse, you use Pythagorean theorem. Now we find A and B to plug it in since we're solving for C, our hypotenuse. We can use the lines from our map that are parallel to our triangle diagram and either add or subtract them to make sure they fit the diagram. In green is the work for A, A equals 8. In blue is the work for B, B equals 6. Now we plug in our numbers to the Pythagorean theorem. After you plug it in, you get 64 plus 36 equals C to the second power, which is 100, but 100 is C raised to the second power. To get the real value, you do the inverse operation and find the square root, which is 10. Now that we know our C, we can add, and in total, we travel 28 miles. Oh my gosh, y'all, 28, I figured out, it's 28. I'm not really getting it, like, can you explain it a bit? Uh, it's probably because you did it wrong. Let me give it a try. Does anybody have a rumor by chance? You wanna know what's funny? <laughs> I just so happy to have one. Thanks. Like I said before, we already know that we travel 18 miles, so we just need to find the distance back in a straight line. I'm going to use a scale to measure the distances. Our scale is one centimeter to one mile. So for every centimeter we draw, that's one mile. Now we mark 18 centimeters in the direction they go to represent 18 miles. To find a missing value, we do the same thing, but we don't know how many miles we have to travel. So we draw centimeters in the diagonal line to get back to the house. So however many centimeters we draw to get back to the house is the amount of miles it takes to get back. When you measure the centimeters from here to the house, you get 10 centimeters, aka 10 miles. And 18 miles plus 10 miles is 28 miles. Okay, maybe you were right. Mm -hmm, yeah, did you find the problem, math brain? Okay, whatever. Okay, y'all ready? On the count of three, scream 28. One, two, three, 28! Oh my gosh, y'all, we win! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, this money. See you guys know what this week? Sure. 